John Stark spent eight seasons in a Nick uniform, providing plenty of excitement and sometimes exasperation. Along the way, he made the All-Star team once, became the Knicks' all-time leader in three-point field goals. In the 93 playoffs against Chicago, he clinched a game with this dunk that's still remembered by New York fans. And Stark's in attendance at the Garden today. He's with Jim Gray. All right, thanks, Tom. Of course, he went over in the trade over to Golden State, which brought Latrell Sprewell here. John, let me ask you, you are a very close friend of Patrick Ewing, and you spoke to him. How difficult has this been for him, and how hard has he taken it? It's very difficult. Uh, you know, uh, he's been an integral part in uh, the Knicks' uh, success up to this point. And, uh, you know, for him to go down at this particular time and not be able to participate uh, in this game, in this series, uh, till the end, you know, it's very hard on him. Of course, you've had some great rivalries. You've been part of this thing for a long time with Reggie Miller, of course, the headbutt, which was a couple of years ago, very famous thing. What about the Indiana Pacers and the New York Knicks, and how deep is that feeling ingrained, even though you're a former Nick? Well, it's, it's always a rivalry going against, uh, you know, the Indiana Pacers because uh, you know what they're going to bring to the table, and uh, you know what type of player Reggie is. Uh, he's a very talented player, and uh, over the years, we didn't have our competitions, but can you laugh at that headbutt now? Oh, I can laugh at it, you know, sincerely. <laughs> but uh, it was just a lot of fun, you know, playing against them in the, uh, these type of games. John, great for you to come back to the garden and support your former teammates. Good to see you. Back over to you, Tom. All right, Jim, Kurt Thomas hits for New York. I suspect it's a little easier for John to laugh about that headbutt than it is for Reggie. <laughs> well, one of the great things about playing in New York is how loyal the fans are. And even though John is no longer playing for the team, he is still beloved here. And they, wherever he goes, they just... They just idolized that fine warrior.